Hello everyone, I'm back here with another video. Today we revisit the palindrome, a void 140 RPM adaptive hand cannon available through the nightfall or deal completions. Although there is a normal version, I will be specifically focusing on the adept version obtained only through Grandmaster difficulty. On top of having significantly higher drop rates, the adept rolls have access to adept Icarus with minor bumps to all stats. I've racked up many kills on the Adept Palindrome in the past couple seasons, and I feel like this is an important topic to go over, as much has changed since its debut in Season 12. These changes include a 120 RPM hand cannon nerf, the introduction of better kinetic pairings such as Reese Walker and Adept Eye of Soul, and buffs to certain perks available on the weapon. Let's get started on some potential rolls, and I'll give my reasoning as to why you should chase one to be ready for its re-release in a couple of weeks. Firstly, do not grind for regular Palindrome. Do not settle for a 2 or 3 out of 5, you're going to want a solid 4 out of 5 to set yourself apart from the rest of the pack. And secondly, do not grind for a regular palindrome, and by that I mean it's adept or nothing. Here are the perks available on the palindrome on d2gunsmith.com. There's a lot to unpack, but immediately I'm going to narrow it down. Much better. Off the bat I excluded all perks that do not offer an increase to the recoil direction stat. Although the palindrome has a very solid recoil direction stat of 98, the difference between the recoil pattern is very noticeable and will impact your consistency. The best way I can describe it is that the weapon has some sort of wobble without 100 recoil direction, and personally, I value having 100. Between the remaining two barrels, it's really dependent on if you like stability or not. In the second column, go for ricochet rounds or high cal. No other option here is worth it. Third column offers the best options. You really can't go wrong on any of these, but for pure consistency in a 3v3 environment, I think the best two options are bottomless grief to bring your mag up to 13, or quick draw. If you like farming 6s however, subsistence, overflow, and killing wind are all great options for keeping up your lethality. Column 4 is where it gets interesting. Firstly, we have to decide if you want rangefinder or not. If you want rangefinder, there you go. But if you're someone who like me who hates rangefinder on hand cannons, your only competitive options here are thresh or high impact preserves. Thresh has been enabled on weapons in PvP since palindrome's release, and allows you to build super faster, which is very important in 3v3 environments. High Impact Reserves is a fairly niche perk that allows you to 2 crit 1 body mid resilience and below guardians, or push out your 3 tap range marginally when you're halfway through your magazine. That has some use, and personally I use it to extend the value of my magazine. Normally I would reload whenever I have free time, but with High Impact Reserves I find myself using that free time to do other important things for my team. Saving those last rounds which do a little extra damage permit me to play a little bit more laxed and don't put the pressure on me to land a perfect 3 crit every time. Ultimately, the final column is 100% personal preference. So long as you don't stray from those three options, you are using the weapon to its fullest potential. Finally, the masterwork and adept mods of choice are, surprise surprise, range and adept Icarus, for a crispy 15 plus range. If you don't land a range masterwork, don't fret, because the bonus for masterworking an adept Icarus will only set you behind a half a meter or so. With all the previous perks I mentioned, you'll have yourself the best 140 RPM hand cannon in the game. Hosting 32 meters roughly on a non-rangefinder roll, and about 35 meters on a roll with rangefinder. Anyways, thank you for watching, I hope you can make a decision as to what role you'll be shooting for on your palindrome in a couple of weeks, leave a comment listing what role you're hoping for on Adept Palindrome, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe for more content, and I hope you have a great day. Later!